it may be too late for sharks. We've got a burgeoning population globally that needs to be fed and they're hungry. You think, you think they care about a shark when they've got an empty belly in Africa. But when you've fished these animals to the point of extinction, you know, there's got to be uh, a time where they got to, you just got to say, hey, you, you got to stop. They're not dwindling in numbers and they're not overfished. You have a group of wackos out there that are getting paid to say this. Never believe a fisherman about the size and the number of animals that are out there. Where's the money coming from? If I was in the shark business for the money, I'd be I'd be catching sharks. These guys are exploiting the shark and they're creating more danger for swimmers and divers. If you're gonna protect sharks, then protect sharks. Frankly, what has to happen is we have to stop the cultural tradition um, that demands shark fin soup. Then it turns into a racist type of approach. People say, but those stupid Chinese are doing. They're, they're ruining the population of sharks and so on. Rather than killing him and selling his fins for a few dollars once, you now have a replenishing resource forever. I'm surprised somebody that's lost their marriage, their home, their boat, something hasn't gone postal. They are winning. I was put out of business. And part of what they've done is destroyed my family, my friends, and family and friends of other folks out there by using fatally flawed science. We really don't know. Like I said, the, you can speak to some scientists and they feel that yes it does and some other scientists you know, feel that it doesn't. I mean, it's very difficult to, to conduct any type of experiments to actually see if it changes the shark's behavior or not because it's just a tough system to work in. So you really can't say one way or another yes it does or no it doesn't. 